Hello and welcome to a CSCART video tutorial. My name is Sergey, and in this video we are going to review the eBay synchronization add-in interface. First I am going to show you where the eBay synchronization add-in is installed. Second, we are going to speak about the new subsection of a marketing menu, the eBay subsection. And third, we are going to take a quick look at the new tab in the categories and products menus. Let's begin. First, let's take a look at the add-on location. We need to go to add-ons, manage add-ons, scroll down a bit, and here is the add-on. It's called eBay synchronization, so you won't miss it. There are two tabs here, the general tab with all the necessary IDs and the license info tab with a license number field. Alright, let's move to the second step. Now let's review the new marketing subsection, eBay subsection. We need to go to marketing, eBay and here we have three fields, eBay templates, eBay logs and eBay products. This page contains eBay templates. eBay templates are necessary to export your products to eBay. You can add new templates with a plus button. Here you can make up a name for the new template, add products to this template, use it as a default one, set up the eBay root category and eBay subcategories, choose shipping methods for this specific template. It can be domestic or international, choose payments depending on the shipping method, set up your return policy and enter product identifiers. Identifiers help your products not to get lost in the eBay catalog system. Logs save your eBay export history and information about errors that you have encountered during your work with eBay. With the gear button you can clear logs and use the search bar to search for the specific logs. The products page contains the list of the products that have an assigned eBay template. You can add the new product with the plus button. With the gear button you can make a global update of the products, make a bulk product addition and check product subscriptions. Now let's move to the next step. And finally let's take a look at the eBay tab. Products, Categories, choose a category, Electronics in our case, and here it is, eBay tab. Here you can use eBay templates category. If you have a template or assign a different eBay category from the list of available categories. This is the list of eBay categories by the way. The same tab can be found at the products page. Choose any product and here it is eBay tab eBay templates not found. So first before making any changes you need to create an eBay template. To sum it all up, the eBay add-on consists of the three parts. First, the add-on itself. Second, eBay subsection in the marketing menu. And third, the eBay tab in the categories and products pages. Well, that's it. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section below, on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching.